closest to me. Uh, this gentleman, his name is uh, Don Marker. Uh, he comes to us from Kentucky. He's the ex-director uh, of the Bayer version of the Hazardous Waste Management Commission. Uh, he was fired by the governor of Kentucky when he refused to uh, permit, I, I guess, what was the correct term? Yeah, he, he refused to permit and, and uh, allow the uh, construction of some facilities which he felt that the state didn't need. Five years down in Hong 
Montgomery, Alabama. Jimmy put together a lot of good criminal grand juries uh, on related issues, and I think, uh, I hope, uh, that Jimmy will be elected the Attorney General of Alabama so that he can kind of have his, his expertise for the whole state. Uh, but I do, I do spend time around the country. Uh, I've been spending time in Nebraska because, like North Carolina, uh, the government is trying to cite not only incinerators and landfills, but also nuke dumps in the state. And North Carolina finds themselves basically in the same situation as Nebraska is in. And so I recommend to the Grow Group that they invite the executive director of the Nebraska Citizens Group fighting games so that you all can see that you're really not unique. You're in a, there are other states in the same situation. Um, the Grow Group has put together what I believe is a very interesting panel of diverse expertise and opinions. Don Harper, uh, as a head state official in the waste field, knows the ins and outs of, of what's required to do the job and knows how government can work and how government really does work uh, at the state level. Uh, Kentucky, by the way, is one of the states that is in the hazardous waste compact. And I think, frankly, uh, Kentucky's environmental protection program is very similar to North Carolina's in terms of how it's carried out today. And I think Don's perspective of how the system works and doesn't work will be very important for you to have. Uh, Lynn Moore will be talking to you uh, about three issues, all of which are very important, not only for Nebraska, not only for North Carolina, but also the whole country. The siting of uh, radioactive waste facilities, the siting of hazardous waste facilities, and a new uh, regulatory or deregulatory proposal occurring right now called BRC, the Low Regulatory Concern, which would allow generators of radioactive waste, that's the weapons plant manufacturers, and the uh, uh, nuclear power plants to recycle uh, radioactive material into frying pans and bell buckles and earrings. Uh, so uh, not only is the site of these facilities a dangerous as is presently occurring, but the deregulation of a large amount of this waste stream is occurring right now and, all, and also affords tremendous risk to the public. And so I'm hoping that Lynn, both in her presentation and in colloquy, we can request and answers can help bring you up to speed about some of the things going on around the country uh, from a technical point of view and a citizen's point of view. Matt Petrovic had worked in the health effects area of EPA for many years, and he has a unique vantage point of how the system works and how the system doesn't work in terms of protecting your health, development of regulations, development of standards, and he has formed some personal opinions based on his years of experience and keeping up in the field. And I think him being a local the way things good, on top of his unique experience with the agency, he will afford another angle look at this issue. Uh, we have some news media here. Uh, the media has covered this issue, and I think will continue because the issue is hoping that between the three or four of us uh, in our presentations, we won't take more than an hour so that we can get to questions and answers and discussion with you about the technical specifics of these issues and what you as citizens uh, have to do to protect uh, your health. I, I always start off every discussion I have uh, with one reminder, and that is the difference between the United States and Russia. In Russia, the people work for the government. In America, the government's supposed to work for you, and it's your job to assure that that
bad habits. With that, I'd like to turn it over for about 20 minutes Don Harper to relate some of his experiences and his perceptions on that issue. I'm going to peel out for about 10 minutes to talk with some of the TV stations. And then after Don speaks, then Lynn will speak, Matt will speak, and then we'll open things up for questions and answers. I'm going to try to be a low-key Phil Donahue uh, without the male transvestite dancers. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for coming, and we look forward to participating not only in giving you information, but also answering your questions. Thank you very much. Don Harper from Kentucky. It's no better at the state level. 
Our appointed officials hold secret meetings with industry to work out the government position on, industry, on issues. Industry provides these officials with legal opinions that will allow for favorable decisions to be made. Tracy told me to uh, tell you a little bit about my own situation and, and my own firing from the state government. I want to tell you about two things I found when I first arrived at the Division of Waste Management. And let me just say, I was in the state government for ten and a half years. I was director of the Division of Water for three and a half years. Uh, I, I've been there. I've seen a lot. I understand the compromises and, uh, and the environmental protection area. When I first moved over from water to waste management, I was interested in how the Superfund program was being run. I started looking around. The first thing I found was in the files information about three families that had been drinking cancer-causing chemicals uh, from their springs. The water was coming off of a potential Superfund site. The state officials, including the former director, U.S. EPA officials, had known about this for over a year, and those families had never been advised. I can tell you that before that day ended, those people had bottled water on their front porch, and the staff that was under me found out that filling out Forms, regardless of EPA's mentality of bean counting, is not their job. Their job is about eliminating the exposure of people to hazardous chemicals. I told the public about, about this particular incident, and uh, that was the first time I just about lost my job in the state. I told the press the state hadn't been doing its job. <laughs>